Hello, I'm Lenovo Insider Jonas. Um, I'm from Thinkscopes. I'm now here um, with the Lenovo ThinkPad B50. This is the successor to the W541. <coughs> um, okay, let's start with the keyboard. We have a status indicator for the media function key or the function key row. Dedicated volume buttons over here. Num lock indicator, caps lock indicator. Um, the keyboard is really great. Also here is another status indicator right over there. The trackpad uses a different material which is more durable. Um, special, this is especially useful for uh, engineers with crazy fingers. Um, it won't wear out as fast. We have track point buttons, trackpad buttons. Now, at the side, audio combo jack, two USB 3.0 ports. There's a mini display port. An express card slot. A multimedia card reader. And there is the smart card reader for your EID cards. Then at the back, we will have a USB 3.0 port with always on USB functionality, another USB 3.0 port, an Ethernet port, a Thunderbolt 3 port, a HDMI port. And a power jack. So <clears throat> there are a total of three por uh, ports to attach an external monitor, which is great. If you need more, you can always purchase the dock to attach more excel external monitors or displays. Um, the panel is here a multi touch panel, it's 4K, vertical resolution uh, is. 2160 pixels in height, horizontal um, somewhere in the 4000s. It's multi touch. Um, also, what's worth mentioning is that this is a prototype. So, um, the material on this is a mixture of several materials. I can tell that this is glass fiber, but it's also a mixture of something else, I think. Um, can't tell which material. The bottom appears to be made of um, aluminium, magnesium. Combined with something else. Um, <clears throat> okay, here we have a color sensor. If you launch a Pantone program, then close the lid, wait for the beep, then open up the lid again, your display will be calibrated perfectly. Then here is a touch fingerprint reader, um, which is a new successor to the swiping fingerprint reader. It's supposed to be more reliable. You don't need to use multiple retries to authenticate with your finger, just touch it one time and it will work. Um, we also have three storage devices inside, um, one 2.5 inch SSD and then two M.2 SSDs. So you have a total of three storage devices in the P50 and a total of four in the P70. You, we have the possibility of using Xeon processors with ECC memory, DDR4, or you can choose for Core i5 or Core i7 quad core CPUs. Um, <clears throat> okay, what else is there? Um, the battery is now at the front, so you don't have to worry for a warm palm rest. It will be ice cold. Don't worry for heat, just work very hard, as hard as you can. There is also a fan at the left where here, and at the right where there. So the cooling will be primarily at the back, distributing the heat. Also. I will hear 
get the bottom cover with me as you can see this is the magnesium structure frame right over here and when we remove it we get a fan over here the fan over there if one component is overloading the graphics card over here or the processor over here the fan will start spin spinning in a different direction to load the temp uh, to balance the loads or the temperatures and as you can see here we have the processor on the right the graphics card over here the cooling is about almost as thick as a finger it's very thick and there's one heat pipe one shared heat pipe but it, it, sh it shouldn't worry it's a lot better than what we used to have in a W540 um, two RAM slots at the below the keyboard and below the I believe it's yes also below the magnesium structure frame so you need to remove the keyboard remove the structure frame in order to access these two RAM slots um, as you can see here is the location of the M.2 SATA uh, M.2 SSDs and the 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive now the other okay let's now turn around Below, um, right here we can access other components like the other two RAM slots um, just look it up and okay. I cannot open this with one hand so we will have to do this at a later point um, I will put this back right here and grab my T50. Uh, excuse me, I meant W540. If you are interested in knowing the difference in thickness. As you can see, the P50 is a lot thinner than the W540. Okay, the graphics processor in the P50 is either a uh, M600 series, uh, M1000 series, or the M2000M series. If you need a more powerful graphics card, you need to look for the P70, which is configurable up to the M5000M. Okay, thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think.